Like I keep wanting to call it a cult. It's not a cult, but it could be a cult. I don't know. <laughs> hey everyone and welcome. I am Sailor Drew. Let's hang out and play some RimWorld Ideology. So this is the brand new DLC that just dropped today. I've got it installed. I don't have royalty installed, even though I do own it, just because I want to experience ideology on its own. Ideology differs in that it gives us so much more complexity and control over how we tell our stories through our colony. Like it basically adds like religion to it. It adds rituals. Uh, it determines on how your pawns interact with one another and their relationships with one another. I mean, this, I feel like this might feel like a new, entirely different game, but we'll see. Like this is going to be a, a blind let's play. Really quick, I do want to mention that I do have it lightly modded just because the update did break most of the mods. It also gave us a lot of quality of life updates with the base game, which will actually make some of the mods that I had installed previously like obsolete, like fences. We now have fences. So I'm so excited because a lot of the animal husbandry and stuff like that has also been updated. But let's go ahead and start a new colony. Um, I kind of want to do Naked Brutality, whether or not like I'll be good at it. <laughs> um, I guess we'll see. But I do want to go ahead and edit a few things. Like I want to disable a couple of like the bug incidences. Just because like again, like I just don't enjoy them at all. Uh, especially with like how they have changed over the past couple of updates in the game like they used to be fine but the fact that they like burrow up like as you're like mining and stuff like that like i just i just don't like it like it's really annoying so ooh wow and this actually kind of gives us a little bit of a sneak peek of some of the new stuff we might experience but let me go ahead and uh select what i need all right so for our storyteller i'm thinking that maybe we'll go with cassandra this time Phoebe was a little too chillax for us in the last Let's Play, but it gave me a really good uh, kind of reintroduction to the game. So maybe we'll do Strive to Survive. We may or may not switch back over to Randy Random, just depending on how things go. But Cassandra's going to be different than our last Let's play, play, just because she does, like, ramp up, like, as you go along. It's just like this continual, like, climb of doom. <laughs> But this is also new where we get to decide how many factions. So this will actually kind of replace some of the mods as well that we've had in the past and a lot of the popular mods. So I've just bummed up a couple of them just because I always like to play with a lot of factions. It does give you little snippets as to how they differ. They also did update with 1.3 how the factions will attack you. So the... Uh, the Outlander Unions, whenever they have like sappers, they'll use explosives to get behind your defenses. Whereas the tribes will have like these special axes to break down your walls. The mechanoids have even changed to where now there's a new mech. Apparently it's called like a tunneler or something like that. And basically they can just like one shot your walls and just totally mess them up. But the trade-off being that they're so powerful... They don't really do like a ton of damage to your pawns. So there's going to be like a lot of behavioral changes that we're going to have to like see how they play out as well as like how we are going to respond in kind because this is going to make like our kill boxes like kind of useless for um, a number of attacks. So I'm curious to see how it'll happen. Alright, so this seems like a good location. Uh, there are no caves or anything like that, which we definitely don't want caves. I did select a large map. Alright, so this is where we get to create our ideology. So basically everything that dictates how our pawns will kind of like live out their lives. Uh, so choose structure. Choose the symbolic structure of your ideology. This only affects symbols. It does not affect gameplay. Okay, so I mean, wow, like it actually like has like actual 
religion in here. So like Buddhist origin, this ideologian is a descendant of ancient Buddhism. So, and of course, like we're like way in the future. It may have very different precepts than those of thousands of years ago, but its symbols are symbol, uh, similar. So chance to have the precept, head wrapped, relax, broad, wrap, relax, unlocked ritual, smoke leaf circle, styles Buddhist. Uh, so aerotechs are the true gods. They know the moral structure of the universe and serving them is how we will connect with it. Uh, ideological, there are no gods. The moral structure of the universe is found in our grand narrative of social forces. Unlocked ritual, symbol burning. Wow, okay. Animus kind of looks cool, like very tree, like hippie. Like maybe we'll kind of do like a hippie, like religion. Like, I don't know. Uh, spirits live in everything around us, in the plants and the animals, rivers and trees, sky and stars. The moral structure of the universe springs from the necessity of respecting them. All right, yeah, let's, let's just do that one. All right, so choose memes. Choose one to four memes to form the foundational ideas of this ideology. Some of these have much more gameplay impact than others. Um, which, yeah, it'll actually tell you. Oh, well, this, uh, like I'm just going to select random stuff. Uh, randomize. There we go. Yeah, overall impact six strong. So it'll actually tell. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah, that one got up like really high. Um. So, let's see here. Um, ooh, we could be nudists. <laughs> uh, tree connection. Trees are the essence of life and we must be near them. So they want to be with trees. Uh, darkness. Burn light. Bright light burns and destroys. Darkness nourishes and creates. People ought to live in darkness. Okay, so it seems like there's like a couple of like um, ones that you could choose if you decide to live like deep in the mountains um the rancher one this one i have an idea for this one i also have an idea for like a different let's play for like doing kind of like a high-tech ideal ideologian uh oh yeah female supremacy <laughs> yeah we could do like a matriarchy that'd be interesting uh high life this is amazing <laughs> Exotic states of mind are central to a good life. Required precepts. Drug use essential. Chance to have precept. Flap hat. Relaxed. <laughs> uh, drug use prohibited is disabled. Medical only. Medical or social only is uh, disabled as well. Required ritual smoke leaf circle. Unlocked roles plants specialist. Unlocked ritual smoke leaf circle. New buildables, auto, oh, an auto bong. What? <laughs> okay. A uh, mind bend carpet, a green traits, chemical interest, and chemical fascination. Okay. So let's pick that one. We'll be like those, like, uh, what is it? The nuns that have like the pot farm or something. Uh, that's, that's what we're going for here. Individualist. No, we went with collectivism. Uh, man is a stain on nature's perfection. So, scarification. Oh, God. Uh, proselytize. Let's see. What else? I mean, like, I don't know. There's so many options. Let's do tree. It'll, it'll fit in with our, our like, hippie tribe thing. Uh, Creed of Anna, Anna, oh no, okay, well I can't do that one because I can't pronounce it, high party, <laughs> I mean that would be like really, really easy, right, uh, Archaeo Smokism, Solidary Commune, Unified Collective, Root of Unity, oh that one sounds fancy, you can actually click on it and choose, like, everything, I mean like the customization is, Insane. I really enjoy it. Um, there's so many symbols. Look, I like this one. Uh, and I want to be pink. Just because I can be pink. Or we could do teal. Like a teal color. Uh, I feel like the pink would like really stand out. Oh. 
like on the map it might be easier to find i don't know uh yeah we're gonna be pink whatever <laughs> all right so precepts oh narrative the universe is an endless cycle of creation and destruction managed by spirits and aspects of the real of the world around us the wisest spirits are those of women who should use their wisdom to lead men an ancient text says that a sleeping traveler from the stars will crash to earth and it spirit of the freighter will wake the traveler who will raise the last tribe interesting uh so precepts um oh wow i'm actually surprised at this so slavery is honorable oh god uh so we can actually randomize these Daily. oh god oh that last one it was like men had to be nude <laughs> Uh, okay, so the drug use is essential. Trees are desired. Uh, wow, okay, so women's spouses are unlimited. Uh, oh, we do not like fungus? Really? I'm like, but it's delicious. Uh, diversity of thought is neutral. Physical love, spouse only, moderate. Wow, like, this is... This is, like, I just... You could spend forever here. So I'm going to be like kind of doing a lot of like time jumps to kind of set these up. All right. So I just uh, hit the random button like a bunch of times. Wow. Like you can even do something with like the. Structure, cultural, ad style, category. Preview the ritual ambiance sound. Wow. This is crazy. I mean, it makes sense because it's RimWorld and you've always been able to like customize everything down to like the most minute details. So, uh, precepts, drugs are essential. Um, Gar Garian Lin connection. You know how to pronounce that. Will you let me know <laughs> in the comments? Uh, special connection with the Garlian trees. The trees refocus production easily under our influence and we are not satisfied unless we have that connection. Trees are desired. Men, it's preferred that they wear pants, shirt, and a hat. Uh, physical love, we're going to be hippies, free and approved. Uh, women's spouses, unlimited. Like, the fact that you can even change stuff like that is crazy. Uh, execution, respected of guilty. Slavery is abhorrent. Cannibalism is horrible. Corpses we think are ugly. Blindness is horrible. Like, blinding people, I guess, is a thing. Um... Work drive is tripled, which is awesome. Uh, fungus is a spice. Actually, you know what? Let's, um... Oh, okay, okay. I was hoping that we could, like, add, like, we like fungus, but, um, we need, like, a different, uh, precept for that. So, uh, or not precept, uh, ideology or whatever it was. Uh, a meme. It was the meme. That's right. Um, diversity of thought is neutral. Insect meat is a spy. Scarification is horrible. Uh, female clothing, no rules. Um, you can also change how quick you research things, which I feel like this would be like really good if you had like if you were going for like a high tech kind of like there are no gods like type of colony that would probably fit in really well there. Uh, yeah, and skull spikes. This is another thing. I'm just like, what? <laughs> Putting skulls on spikes is a barbaric practice. So we don't. We're not going to do that. Like, we're, we're not going to do that. Um, we've got our roles here. Kind of gives, like, a, a little explanations. Um, a ritual. So this is going to be really interesting. Like, basically, how we perform funerals. Like, we need to basically bury something in the ground. Like, even if there's not a body, we need to make a grave still. Uh, the smoke leaf circle. And you can change the name. You can just re-roll it. Uh, I kind of just kept them as they were. Um, so I like this one. Fiesta of unity, a ritualistic smoking of large amounts of smoke leaf. Participants will gather around a burn bong or incense shrine, light it on fire, and celebrate while inhaling the fumes. The ritual target will be destroyed. Interesting. <laughs> oh, and we even have like a Sky Lantern Festival. What? That sounds amazing. Oh, and dance party, stone celebration. This is fantastic. <laughs> I want to know if you guys are shocked that I'm doing like kind of like <laughs> just some sort of like like hippie like weed like cult or whatever commune <laughs> like in the mountains. 
Uh, so buildings, ritual seat. So I don't know if these are things that it wants us to build because it's like going to be like kind of required or something. Uh, relics, not really sure how these play out yet. So relics are objects of spiritual or ideological significance. They can be discovered by completing long and dangerous quests. A relic can be installed in a reliquary to attract pilgrims, enhance rituals, and strengthen an ideologian's ability to convert outsiders. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, weapons. Even weapon preferences. Uh, can I change this? So... Oh, you can actually change which... Okay, so... Ranged, heavy, and light. Okay, we... Alright, uh... So, noble is long shots, and then short shots are despised. So, that'll give them negative and positive moodlets, it looks like. Thrumbo. So, vinegar, uh, venerated animals. So, basically, this is, like, animals that we, like, think that are super special to us. Uh, wow, you could really do anything. You could do cats. <laughs> um, I don't... I don't know. We'll do the thrombo. I don't know how much that'll help us or hurt us. Um, oh, we could worship puppies. If you're new to my channel, you don't know this, but I just recently, we just recently rescued a dog. So, and I had been wanting like a puppy forever. I uh, prefer to pay our whole flop hats for males. Amazing. Uh, an appearance you can actually sit there and change what you want them to have. So I don't know. Uh, I feel like tattoos would be kind of cool. Um, so maybe body tattoos. The tribal tattoos are common. Uh, I don't know what punk would be considered. Oh wow! Look at that. Ooh, moons frequent. <laughs> Uh, oh, hearts. Yes, I love it. I love it. Uh, so tribal. Okay, cool. Minimal. Uh, miscellaneous. Sun, insect, cannibal. Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah. Um, cool. So, let's see here. Tribal. Abue, tiger. That one looks cool. Uh, I wish you could do, like, random. That way you're not sitting here, like, forever. Because, again, like, this is, like, something that you can sit here and do until the end of time. Like, crazy. You can sit there and just, like... I mean, this is... The tribe raid, yes. Let's do, let's do the tribe raid as frequent. <laughs> it's amazing! Ah, uh, mustache... So I think for any like super or uh, future let's plays with the ideology pack, which I can you know, already like, I already have like a few in my mind. Um, I'll just probably skip a lot of this setup. But since this just came out today, like I wanted to kind of take y'all through it. So, um, wow. So, and I think that this is also a lot of. Yeah, so the miscellaneous is going to be the modded stuff, so we could all give them mustaches. <laughs> like, yes, I want mustaches. Uh, let's see here. So, all right, so there's like 250 hair and beards in use, and then 11 tattoos in use, so I think that's, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> uh, so we are doing the kind of naked and afraid or whatever it's called um so nelly let's take a look at nelly um the prepare carefully is broken and it will be until it's updated but there is a working mod where you can sit here and uh change everything so i'll i'll put it below what it's called so that way if you're wanting to do this and you want to still like kind of be able to change everything um around 
then you'll have the option. All right, so I've got Nelly all prepared to go. I just changed a couple things um, just to kind of give her a better start just because like I don't want this to be like like an extreme let's play. I just figured that maybe like she's going out on, on her own. She misses trees and wants to create like like a uh oh here we go it was supposed to be a minor surgery just an hour out under anesthetic you felt totally safe now you've woken inside a drop pod punching through the atmosphere of a distant rim world aside from the slick from a slick of mysterious goo all over your body you're totally naked with no preparation no supplies and no tools can you survive oh yeah i totally forgot that uh the whole oh wow wow yeah, I forgot about the whole, uh, you don't have anything to start out with. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Um, wow. Oh, wow. What's this? Ancient pipeline section. Section from an ancient pipeline. It once carried some valuable fluid over long distances. Now it's been looted and deteriorated to uselessness. Okay, so we can't even, like, deconstruct it or anything? Um... Ancient troop carrier? Whoa, it's a car. Oh, same thing. Can you construct it? An ancient broken troop carrier. Everything that isn't rusted away was looted long ago. Wow, there's a lot of things. Okay, so we can deconstruct this. Uh, ancient shopping cart. We can de deconstruct that. Or steel. A giant wheel. Okay. Ancient pod car. I was going to say it kind of looks like a cry uh, sleep casket. Uh, ancient stove. So can I use it or no, it's got to be deconstructed. There's some ancient fencing that we can deconstruct. So deconstructing a lot of this is going to give us, um, oh, everything and the kitchen sink. Uh, yeah, this is going to give us a lot of materials. Weird. Um, so being next to some trees would also probably be a good idea. There's also some wild heel root up there. Uh, oh, look at this. Okay, because I was going to say, like, we need to be kind of near some, like, food. Cherry trees. So maybe we should... Be over here um, I don't think I'm gonna re-roll the map like I actually think it's a pretty good map like eventually maybe we'll move into this area but I really need to utilize what is available to us uh, okay yeah she's got like everything like selected <laughs> uh, so let's deconstruct these for the bricks uh, where's... So we want to deconstruct all of these. We're going to save one table. And deconstruct most of... Gosh, yeah, look at all this stuff all over the place. Weird. Um, I mean, there's like some food nearby, like berries and stuff. But I'm hoping that I can get her to kind of get enough materials from what she's going to be de deconstructing. That we can like build her a little room. Okay, so ancient danger. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So maybe we won't have her running all over the place. Like I'll just like cancel whatever I had her deconstructing like kind of up above. Why is this? Is it working? Uh, where was the stove? Okay, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, and we'll just have her kind of deconstruct what's nearby. So that way we can get some of this uh, material. And chop wood. So we're definitely going to need to chop some wood. 
and we may have to rely kind of like on foraging for a little while just until we can kind of get an idea of what we can do like floors okay so tilled soil i tested out and i i believe it works yeah see there's new flooring and everything like i'll probably add some more flooring mods and everything back into the game i just wanted to kind of like i tested out most of everything just so that way i could be like certain like everything is gonna be fine um but let's see so there's berry bushes nearby so we want to harvest those and so planning interesting okay so it looks like more planning does not work um so i'll have to remove that i thought it did work that's fine though the structure we could get a door and Still copy. So this is gonna be kind of it to begin with. Uh, storage room would be good as well. So I don't think we have that much steel though, really. The limestone and sandstone. So we'll see how far that gets her. So, structure, uh, limestone, use some of this to our advantage. So the question is, is that, okay, good, because it can't be longer than like 12 across just because it'll collapse on us. Um... You know what, let's do, cancel that. And we're, we'll do her room up here. Just so that way she like actually has like a room. Uh, put that there. So structure, actually furniture is what we need. We need to give her a bed. And that let's claim this so what quality is it it's normal okay that's good oh look begin leader speech interesting all right uh so fungus dark torch and a dark torch so i guess this is for the people who don't like it bright uh torch lamp will be good because they hate darkness so zone, stockpile zone. So this is just gonna be like our everything stockpile zone right now. Uh, dumping, eventually we'll get to that. I'm also so glad that the speed mod works. Like that would suck <laughs> if it didn't. <laughs> Just like, no, I have a need for speed. Like, I need things to go, go, go. Okay, and she's starving. So, berry bush. Oh, harvest berry bush. Come on. Prioritize harvesting berry bush. Uh, so, we want her to attack things. Oh, look at this. Ah. So, in the past quadrum, we didn't destroy many trees at all. Harmony with the trees is a basic foundation for a good life. Saw many full trees. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, she has extremely low expectations. <laughs> She's like, I am not expecting this to go well. We will see. We shall see. Uh, yeah, so I gotta pay attention. Like, this is the first time I've ever done, like, the negative and alone type thing. So, um, it's going to be interesting, to say the least. Because... I mean, she's she's gonna be it until we can get some other people. Um, she's all we got. <laughs> uh, oh, and she's getting hypothermia. What? Okay. Uh, let's see. So we need. Okay, so she actually needs to wake up and harvest some trees. 
I think I have it to where... Oh, we're... okay, we didn't get any wood off of that. Not good. Not good. Uh, okay. So, I think I have the mod installed where it'll actually give us... Uh, it? Okay. Oh, yeah, they added a... Um, a search bar which I'm like why didn't they have this like forever ago uh so I'm looking for a fire like a campfire okay so maybe I gotta click out of that camp fire there we go campfire so there's a mod that gives you um like a radiant heat like temperature stuff uh so maybe just maybe this will kind of help us out okay and she's sitting there sleeping again all right i need you to wake up <laughs> she's starving she's cold it's cold at night uh let's see here so question is do we have enough wood for the bed we do okay so i don't know if this gives off heat i'm assuming from the red that it does uh, so we'll let her sleep just a little bit okay uh refuse visitors until i have guest beds so that's basically in the beginning like we're just gonna have to keep pushing her and just hope that she doesn't have a mental break once we kind of get like our base up and running like We'll prioritize food just a little bit more. So orders, uh, harvest. So I'm not really sure how we're going to recruit people. Um, we're gonna, I mean, it's possible to have like people wander on and wanna join us. Um, you know, same, same old, same old where we can maybe like woo guests away if they really love their stay with us, as well as, um, you know, taking over uh or like recruiting people uh by uh so let's see here let's reroll the geysers okay actually that's perfect okay so and then we'll keep the map perfection perfection oh now the arrows are just gonna stay there forever okay i was like oh no uh let's see here we're out of steel so I wonder if we attack these, if we get materials from them, or like, what's, what's the dealio? Because I feel like they should give us materials or something. I don't even know. Yeah, we don't even start out with, oh, what's this? Concrete. Ooh, we could pull this up for steel. Ancient nav beacon. Hmm, interesting. Marble. Huh. Yeah, it would be nice to have uh, more materials. There are predators on the map as well, so we really need to like come up with like a crafting. Uh, so what do we need? We need to cut some more trees. And there's some sort of like crafting spot. Uh, oh, look, ritual spot. Styling station. Oh, so that way maybe, like, um, people can change their looks. Fantastic. I love it. Uh, there's also a light bulb. So basically, like, disco. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of thinking. A uh, loudspeaker. We can have music. Like, oh, I'm so excited. It's umbrella. Humanoid shaper. What is this? I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. Uh, all right, there's a mad hair. Oh, great. We're gonna have to like fist bite it. <laughs> I guess I don't have any weapons. I'm trying to find the, okay, if I do spot maybe, party spot, no. Uh, it's gonna be like under production, right? Crafting spot, that was what I was looking for. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to just basically rough it with this stuff. 
So, and then a butcher spot. Um, and a fueled stove for now. We don't have enough steel, though. So, have at ye, rabbits! <laughs> oh no! What if it all ends here? What if it all ends here? Then I'll just, like, restart and be like, yes, this is me. Uh, totally just starting this game for the first time. Like, <laughs> nothing suspicious. Uh, okay, so where is self-tending at? Because I don't have, like, the medical tab. Oh, that's right. There it is. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's another thing. It's, like, getting used to um, not remembering where... The, um... Remembering where all the stuff is at. Uh, okay, so we don't really want that built just yet. Uh, bills. Put your creature forever. Yeah, because, again, like, I play with a lot of mods that give us, like, extra tabs or, like, it kind of expound on the tabs that we have. So, it's, uh... Oh, wait, why is she bleeding? <laughs> uh, okay, so we want to butcher the rabbit. Okay. Oh, she's eating it. Oh, no. Uh, oh, campfire must be unroofed. Do the undivided fair. Begin leader speech. You must assign the role of the great smoker in order to start this ritual. Cannot cook simple meal. Okay, so she's just going to eat it raw. Ugh, and the noises. <laughs> I'm just like, oh no! Ah, uh, okay, I think building the building out of steel was probably a colossally bad idea. Uh, structure. So maybe let's do some sandstone. Since we have sandstone. Uh, we still have some limestone. But guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for hanging out with me. We're just basically going to see where this takes us, see what kind of amazing commune that we can build. I'm going to try and make it look as like as beautiful and appealing as I possibly can. So it'll be interesting. Um, I'm also interested to see like what kind of people that we're going to get to join our... Like, I keep wanting to call it a cult. It's not a cult, but it could be a cult. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a cult built around nature and smoke leaf. So, I mean, how bad can it be, right? Like, <laughs> like nobody mentioned, like, Wild Wild Country off of Netflix. Like, we just won't go there. But um, please hit the like button and comment down below, as it always lets me know uh, that you want to see more episodes from me. Also, if you have an idea to... For what we want to call our colony and uh the area that we're at let me know like i'm curious like um but until next time take care and i'll see you in the next video